Hi guys, this is Gregor from Personas and here are four hotkeys for you that are super awesome and that nobody talks about. Enjoy. And the first hotkey I have for you guys is so helpful, especially for beginners or whenever you have a question about a very specific function or instrument in Studio One. Let me show you. So did you know about our contextual help? Go to Studio One and then keyboard shortcuts. And by default, this is mapped to F1 key, but otherwise you can just search for context help and there you're gonna find it and then you can map it to any key of your choice. So what does it do? Well, let's say you have the mixer open for instance and you wonder what kind of different view states you have available here, what kind of options you can toggle um, and without reading the manual, there's no way you can know all of these things by heart, except you watch a ton of Joe videos. But the context help actually is a great companion because it respects the window that's currently in focus and then you can just hit that hotkey and it's going to open the manual exactly at the chapter of the feature you currently have in focus. And this also works of course with instruments, with the song window. So right now I have the song in focus and it opens up in the song chapter or if I open up the Impact XT, it immediately goes to the Impact XT chapter. As you can see, just a super handy command that's gonna speed up your learning curve enormously. Does this seem familiar to you? You just try to add a couple of MIDI notes into your editor, but there's so many floating windows. The amount of floating windows is too damn high and you need to make a bit of space and get some screen real estate back. Well, fortunately for you, there's a keyboard shortcut for that. So once again, we head to Studio One and Keyboard Shortcuts and search for Toggle Floating Windows. This is assigned by default to F12, but you can also enter any other key that you like um, and either add it or replace the current one. Um, this is also something that not everybody is aware of. And whenever I need some space now to get back to my editor, I just hit F12 and there you go. To bring them back, just hit F12 once again. If you're a producer like me, you probably like to, you know, sometimes mute and unmute events to find the right combination for each and every section. The only problem with that is that I end up with all these ghost events that clutter up my mix or my song that don't really have any function in the arrangement and at some point I want to commit and just don't see them anymore. So there's a really handy way to get rid of them all at once. Let me show you. So once again, Studio One keyboard shortcut, we got to do that a couple more times, don't worry. And you're going to search for a brand new hotkey. This has not been around for too long, actually. Select muted events, right? So now assign that to any hotkey that you like. In my case, I'm going for one of the very few remaining ones. Hit apply. And now you can just hit that hotkey. And as you can see, it selected all of my muted events and then hit your delete key. Small, but very effective. I love it. Next up is mix down selection. No, not export mix down, which most of you know, but mix down selection. Super handy, especially if you want to render down a couple of stereo files into one track so that you can delete or deactivate and hide the other ones. So for instance, I have four different backing vocal tracks here and they all go um, to the same reverb and backing bus sent. And let's say that I want to put two of these guys hard left and let's put two of these hard right and let's give that a quick listen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I want to keep it this way. Now let's get them a bit better in focus. This is another one for you right now. I wasn't planning on showing that, but it's Shift and S. Perfect horizontal and vertical focus for your selection. <laughs> and now we can do mix down selection. So mix down selection is gonna basically create a stereo sum of all these stems, including the entire insert effects, if there were any, plus all the send effects and bus routings as well. Just the master bus, that's the only thing that's not being rendered when you use mix down selection. And um, this is a key command most people don't know about simply because it's not assigned by default, but you can easily change that. Once again, just go studio one, keyboard shortcuts and search for mix down selection. And there you go, assign it to any key of your choice. I love having it on command R. And yeah, just keep your selection and voila. Everything rendered into one beautiful stereo file. Uh. 
that sounds the exact same goes into the main now so I don't have the bus processing twice essentially and now I can just go ahead and disable these tracks or hide them if I please. I hope you got something from this, I hope that you found at least one of these hotkeys helpful and I'll see you next week with an even nerdier episode.